when we sin and we transgress one thing that comes away one thing that is taken away from us is contentment we're no longer happy we're sinning and we're transgressing it you might enjoy it initially then you realize I'm not happy I'm not fulfilled what's lacking in your life your maker you've taken him out of the equation you can't do that bring him back in become strong on your salah no matter what you might be doing strengthen your salah and then see slowly but surely when you leave something for Allah you get a beautiful joy I know married men and women sometimes they are lacking in their own responsibilities because they have turned away from Allah when they come back to Allah they start enjoying fulfilling their responsibilities they spend more time with their children they start doing things that are meaningful and add value in their own lives that is the discipline Islam is supposed to bring you if you're a true believer I'm a true believer I get married and and I concentrate on my family that's what Islam teaches us what happens when you don't have any rules and regulations you get married and you're concentrating on every other woman on the street and what happens to your wife She's waiting for you at night. You have to lie to her a million times as to where you were and what you were doing. And you come back, she's upset and you're upset, but you got married. You use the name of Allah to get together and there's everything but Allah in your relationship. That's why things are going wrong. But if you had to just cut what you were doing and come back and smile and spend a bit of time, the sweetness of that union and the beauty of that marriage and the love and contentment of the home and the flourishing of that beautiful, you know, the ambience within that house will be such that it's unmatched. And those moments, you don't need to share them with the world. You cherish them. You enjoy them. You prepare for if Allah's going to bless you with children and may he bless all of us with offspring who will be the coolness of our eyes. If Allah is going to give that to you, you will enjoy bringing your children up before you leave the earth. Your time is temporary. How long did you spend with your children? What did you tell them? How much did you talk to them? Did you remind them about Allah? Did you tell them about the good things? Or were you only busy showing them that which was wrong from the very beginning?